Okay, here we are at Gravatar.com and if you have not created an account yet, all you need to do is click right here and sign up and give it your email and click sign up and you'll get a confirmation email with a link in it to click. And then when you click the link in the email, it'll bring you back here and ask you to choose a username and a password and when you click submit on that then you'll be logged into your account so I'm gonna go ahead and log in to the account I just made and you can sign in with either the email address that you used or the username that you set up and go ahead and log in and here we are okay and it says greetings your username up there at the top now go to my account and add an image and where do you want to get the image from your computer's hard drive an image on the internet a webcam attached to your computer or a previously uploaded image well mine's on my hard drive and so it gives me this box and a browse button so I'm gonna go find it and it's in this sea of nonsense on my computer somewhere. Buried. Yeah, there's the little favorite icon of it. Oops. Yeah, images. Ah, what a funny place to look for an image, huh? Okay. So here it is. This is one that I previously sized. 125 by 125 is a very standard uh, web button banner size also commonly used as avatar size but the the real uh, thing about it is that it's square and those work best for avatars so I'm going to choose that file and click next ah and there I am in all my glory see that okay now it's big right but and then this thing is going to let you crop it but I want the whole my whole me in it <laughs> so I'm going to expand it and it gives you the small preview and the large preview and yeah it's kinda blurry but yeah that's alright I'm gonna crop and finish okay and I'm gonna choose a rating and yeah my picture is G rated there's nothing bad about it so I'm gonna click on G and looky there it attached the picture to my email address now this is one of about a billion email addresses I have but let me show you how you can do it again for another email address you just click add a new email and you repeat the process so you don't have to make up a separate Gravatar account for every email address you have like my silly self did initially you can um, put all your email addresses in here and you can associate different pictures with different email addresses I'm gonna go back but that's how simple it is and now whenever I'm out on the web and I fill in a you know leave a comment on a blog or fill in a form on a forum and I leave this ad email address behind as I, I enter that email address as my email address this picture is gonna show up so that's how simple it is to set up a Gravatar for an email address. Alrighty.